simply irresistible. The incredible dessert that is conquering fans all over the world. Guys, I'll start our recipe by pouring 395 grams of condensed milk into a saucepan. Today I'm going to make a wonderful recipe that everyone will definitely like. It is delicious and very easy and quick to make. I'm also going to put 100 grams of semi-sweet chocolate, alright? Now I'm going to turn the stove on low and mix these two ingredients until the chocolate melts. Guys, our chocolate has already started to melt. It's very important to stir constantly so that our chocolate doesn't burn and doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan, okay? Just keep it on low heat and stir non-stop until homogenized. I'm sure you'll be surprised by the end result of this recipe. Guys, our chocolate has already completely melted, so now I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. Now just keep stirring over low heat until our mixture thickens a bit and starts to come away from the pan. Folks, this is the sweet spot. As you can see, our mixture has already gained consistency and is coming away from the bottom of the pan. Now, with the fire still on, I'm going to add 150 grams of roasted peanuts, without skin and without salt, alright? Now I'm going to keep stirring here until the peanuts are incorporated into our mixture. Look how delicious our recipe is getting. If you like it, let me know below so I can keep bringing you more recipes like this one. Guys, that's the point of our recipe. As you can see, it has already thickened a lot and is sliding on the bottom of the pan, look how delicious. It is perfect. Now I'm going to turn off the fire and let's go to the next step. Let's go. Guys, I stirred our mixture a little more here to cool it down a bit, it's not too hot but it hasn't completely cooled down either. Look how much more consistent it has become. Now I'm going to move to a plastic film here on top of a board and I'm going to model our mixture with the help of the spatula, in this way. Look how easy it is to do. Guys, our recipe will look like this, I already modeled it in the shape of a roulade and as you saw it was very easy. Now I'm going to cut the plastic film here and I'm going to wrap our recipe with the plastic film, like this. So just keep modeling a little more with your hands, just like I'm doing. I'll close the ends. I modeled our recipe well with my hands, that way, look how wonderful. And now I'm going to take our recipe and put it in the fridge for about 5 hours or until it's firm enough for us to cut into pieces. Let's go. Guys, it's been a few hours and our recipe is ready. Now just remove the plastic film, like this and look how hard our recipe turned out. Now it's very simple, just cut it into smaller pieces of the size you prefer. I'm going to cut it this way. And look how delicious our recipe was. I'm sure that if you make this recipe at home, everyone will love it. Look how easy it is to cut. This recipe smells wonderful. I'll get a piece to try. Look how delicious. It turned out sensational. Now the best part. It was delicious. A success. Delicious.